What it is, what it do. Here's your boy Jay Killing here, back with a different kind of video today. I'm going to show you all how to use the Doki Doki Mod Manager by Zudo. I got tired of trying to manage my own mods um, for a while now, because ever since last year, um, around when I started uploading DDLC content to the channel, what I would do is I had to keep opening vanilla files of DDLC to then input the mods into each of them, and it got to a point where some mods just couldn't do it for them. So I had to buckle down and actually get a mod manager. And this one's been working out quite well for me, so I think you all would like to know how to use this as well for those who like to play DDLC or if you're a content creator who has a bunch of mods already. This could be pretty useful for you. So how I managed to get this mod creator was you could do one of the two. You just type in DDLC mod launcher to your friend neighborhood search browser and click on the link that says Doki Space or you can go to the DDLC mod reddit page you can scroll down to where it says mod managers and you have these you have these two here that you can choose from but today I'm going to be talking about this one and once you click on a link you get to a page that looks like this it'll tell you to download it, it'll tell you how it works and you can see some screenshots about how the mod the mod manager works and then you could just download it onto your your PC or if you have Mac or even if you have Linux which is it's actually pretty cool that they have this wide diversity of, of operating systems for you to use but anyway once you open the mod launcher it'll ask you to download not download, ask you to install the vanilla DDLC zip file onto the mod launcher because this program actually takes in dot zip files, dot rar files, and dot z and dot seven z files. So you actually don't have to worry about extracting um, these files or anything like that. You don't need win winrar or anything like that. This program will just take the zip files as is, or the rar files or dot seven files, the compressed files as is, and then it'll operate on them for you. So you have the option to where you says install DDLC. Once you upload the original vanilla DDLC mod file, you have the option to re-download it again, and and every and every DDLC file you have will show up here under install. Now, if you want to install a mod file on on the mod manager, let's say you have to go to where it says mod here. Then you have to say mod isn't listed here. So you say click to browse for a mod. So then I'm going to go to my mod files where I have the mod files I have yet to play. I'll just pick one of these that I haven't played yet. Let's say we're going to take Blue Skies. And then I'm going to say Doki Doki Blue Skies. We'll just name it there. Then we're going to hit local save. And make sure it says local save, and then we say install. So then it says the installation is in progress, so we have to wait until the, the program does this thing to finish installing the mod. So, alright, so now that it's finished installing, we now have, it now says Doki Doki Blue Skies, and tells us the size of the file. It'll even tell us how long we've been playing the mod. If you look here for the settings, you can see you can launch, you can launch it, you can rename the mod, you can archive it, however that will uninstall the mod. You can uninstall it, delete the save, save data, and change categories with feature to where you can actually categorize each of the mods based on well, what, whatever category you choose. Whether you want to differentiate between vanilla DDLC and your mods, the different genres of mods you have, the kind of combinations you make are endless. But if you want to launch the mod, you just go here, click launch, and then you just wait for the mod to open up. And then there you have it. And was able to launch and now be able to successfully play Doki Doki Blue Skies. Just using the, D using the Doki Doki Mod Manager. 
And if you want to get out of it, you just hit the X button and it'll take you right back to the home page. Now they also give you the options to change your language. So if you want, so any language that has already been transcribed and transcripted on here by the community, because this is a community created and managed project, you have the option to there. You could also change your backgrounds. Like for instance, they give you these backgrounds here that you can click on. That will give you the background for the mod. This is the default background that comes when you open the program, but then you could add whatever background you want. Or if you want to add a custom background, like a screenshot from a mod you're playing or another background of your choice, you can easily just upload that here and you can make that your background choice. Then you can go to the about section. You can learn more about the people behind behind this mod manager who helped with the translations, who helped support the project. And I have to give it up to the people who actually created this thing. It for what for what it's worth, it works very it worked very well. And so far I've had no problems with it. And that's pretty much all I have to say for how to use the mod manager. And also if you if there's any other thing you could have you could ever have trouble with which I don't think you will, but if you do, you could just click down here to where it says the user guide and it will take you to a page that will look like this. So it says DDMM help and you have welcome and then you have different tabs to the different modes and things you could have questions for. But in any case, that is all I have to say for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some sort of value out of it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And it's been real. It's been fun. It's your boy, Jake Killing. Ciao for now.